That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It's been 50 years since the Apollo 11 space mission that saw American astronaut Neil Armstrong become the first person to set foot on the moon. But although Armstrong was first to reach the moon, he wasn't the first in outer space. This was the Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin, who in 1961 orbited the Earth in the spacecraft Vostok 1. Gagarin's spaceflight was an important victory for the USSR in the so-called space race. This race between the USA and the USSR to dominate spaceflight capability continued through the 1960s and was a key element of the Cold War. In total, 12 astronauts, all of them American, have walked on the moon. The last of these was in 1972. Besides the U.S., also Russia, China, Japan, and India have successfully landed space modules on the moon, but none of these was crewed. So why has nobody been back to the moon for nearly 50 years? In this month's Speak Up, we hear from NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine about an extremely ambitious plan to change that. Bridenstine explains how NASA is hoping to send humans into deep space using the moon as a stepping stone. NASA wants to establish a permanent human presence on the moon. They hope that from this lunar base, we will eventually be able to explore the planet Mars, where indicators of the potential for life have already been found. Intrigued? Don't miss Speak Up this month.